Hello all, this is uh, Dr. Boney. Uh, most students call me Dr. B. Nice to meet you and welcome to Bio 125 uh, for the fall. Um, this is uh, what you should see when you click into uh, the course in D2L. If you do not see this, let me know. We had uh, one student who saw something different that was old and we had to fix it. Uh, but this is what you should see. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on content. And this is going to be everything you see right now. I have a student view. So the first thing you're going to basically do is here, here's your order of operations. You're going to watch the orientation video, which is located under week zero. It'll be right here, but literally I'm making it now. So of course you don't see it here. Um, so everything around this course is designed that you just go into each of these and you go right down the list from the top. So the first thing obviously is instructor information. There's that. Textbook requirements. There's that. Course expectations. These I'm not going to go over now. You can read them on your own. This is how the course is graded, etc. Um, the schedule, you definitely want this. So this has exactly how everything is organized. Um, every unit, um, if we just randomly choose, I don't know, unit two here. All of the lab activities, lecture activities, assignments, quizzes, all of it, and the exam is all due on one day. Um, so this is for the flexibility of your schedule. So uh, it would be a very bad idea for you to start all of this on September 28th or 29th. But it's organized so that you can it can work around your schedule. But all of this is due the same day. And you can see all those dates are to the right. So you definitely want to make sure you pay attention to that. Then we have uh, tips for success here. Minimum tech requirements. The syllabus. This will take you right to it from the college. Then next thing you want to do is you want to click on uh, this orientation to McGraw Hill. When you click on it for the very first time, it's going to have a screen that looks something like this. Um, so this is where you would go and it will automatically register for you the course. Now you, you should have bought from the bookstore um, a, a code that came with your, uh, your, your book stuff, an access code. You need that for this course. It's everything for your quizzes, homework, uh, tests, etc. Um, and it'll go ahead and register you. Now if you're like, um, I'm still waiting on financial aid, um, it's not here yet, what do I do? Well McGraw-Hill will let you have a two week courtesy free license until that comes. So that's also an option once you get into this registration. A third one is if you're like, well, I didn't buy it from the bookstore and you know, can I just buy it from here? The answer is yes. So once you go in to register, it's either going to ask you for the code you bought from the bookstore or it's going to say, hey, no big deal. You, if you have a credit card, you can pay for it and buy for it right, right in here. Uh, this also gives you access to your textbook uh, as well, uh, an ebook version of it. So once you did that orientation uh, exercise after you've gone ahead and registered, um, obviously the register for Connect, either of these will work uh, in, in either order. Um, then I want you to go ahead and do the, this it sounds really weird, it's a one question um, fake exam that is in the proctoring system. And this is gonna initiate and set up your proctoring software. Um, the exams were proctored uh, via uh, Proctorio, which means that while you're taking the exam and only while you're taking the exam, it will lock things like your ability to print, your ability to download anything, your ability to um, right click. Um, it will not let you do any of that while you're taking the exam. It will, uh, you, you will be recorded. Um, no one's watching you on the other end, it's a computer. Uh, but while you're taking the exam, it's recorded. Um, and if it sees anything, any anomaly like you getting up and leaving for a while, or you staring down at the floor, you know, maybe it's assuming you have a, a you know, a phone in your lap, or you keep staring over the monitor doing anything it thinks, um, you know, is weird, it'll just send me an email and I'll review the video. So basically, uh, don't cheat. Um, and you definitely want to take your exams in more of a quiet place where you might have had, might not, might not have kids running around and people in the background. Um, but this tests all of that software and sets it up on your computer um, so that when you take the real exam, we don't have to worry about you freaking out if your technology is not working. We will set it up ahead of time. And if you get that done before September 5th, then I will give you five points added to your first exam. So uh, yippee on that. So if for those of you that want to have any sort of Zoom link to help with activities or learning or whatever, um, once we set up the appointment uh, time, this will be the link where you would meet me. And don't just go on there anytime. I mean, I'm not going to sit here for 24 hours and wait for you guys. But once we actually have an appointment, that's where you would go. So um, there's also a section here on um, the infectious diseases part. Now, this is not due until the end of the course but it's just here for you to kind of work on as you go along in the actual course itself. 
Next thing we have, let me close all these up, um, is the lab activities. And so all the labs are here and they will be in the proper order when you access them. Don't worry, there was just a little weird glitch on the student end. Um, with all the due dates and everything else on there. So um, the, uh, and again, don't worry about the August 20th. It's not that this will all be correct when, uh, when, when you get on there. Um, but uh, this is where you do all the labs and all the labs are gonna be through McGraw Hill. Uh, again, all of this is done through D2L or taking McGraw Hill. These labs are point of view labs. Um, they are all like you're picking up Petri dishes and you're inoculating stuff. They're really amazing. So that's where you do all the labs. And then basically the content stuff. So here is all the content stuff. Um, so the first thing um, you're going to see here is, and I won't do this for every unit just because it's the first one, but there's going to be an overview video. And then you go basically things to do. And every unit will have this. So here's all the things to do that are all the watches and reads. They take you to activities, worksheets, the PowerPoint. These are YouTube videos that uh, a colleague had recorded about each of the sections. So basically, since this is an online course, this is like how the teacher would teach you um, uh, what you're basically doing. And then the right side of this is everything that's graded. Um, and so that that is really for every single unit. So you're like, well, where are all these things if I don't want to access them this way? Well, easy peasy. Um, all the watch and reads are here and all the graded stuff is here. So what it means is going right down the list, here would be the introduction, the first activity. There's a smart book for chapter one. There's the homework for chapter one. And then it repeats. There's your things to do for chapter two. And there's your chapter two uh, activity, your smart book, your homework, your quiz, and then finally exam one. And so that is where you find all the graded stuff um, for all of the, uh, the activities. So that's basically how the course is organized. I'm sure you'll have any questions. And uh, if you do, you know where to reach me. And uh, on that note, good luck, and I am here if you need me.